Cottage cheese buns? Yep, cottage cheese buns. I'm expanding on the recipe I tried earlier for the cottage cheese flatbread. So if you watch that video, you can probably skip ahead to uh, what I'm doing different this time around. So let's get it going. All right, like I said, it doesn't get any more easy than this. Simple ingredients. First one is a cup of cottage cheese. Then next two eggs. And then a teaspoon of the Fresh Jack's uh, seasoning. I like the Caribbean blend, the Jamaican uh, seasoning. I like that a lot. Uh, but go ahead and experiment with the seasoning you like. And so it's pretty simple. Uh, we just mix everything together into one container, blend it up, pour it in the pan. So let's get going. In goes the cottage cheese. I have to confess, I'm not a real big fan of cottage cheese, but I'm willing to give it a try just to see. People say it don't taste like cottage cheese or eggs, so I love eggs, but I think for the cottage cheese, it's pretty much a texture thing, but yeah, I'm not buying into the cottage cheese yet, but I'm gonna find out. So today I'm using my immersion blender. It just works fast and I like it, and it's the only blender that I have, but we're gonna just give it a couple hits and get it well blended. Uh, I saw a tip on uh, uh, Serious Keto, uh, another channel that I watch and enjoy. So he talked me into getting this right here. Yeah, it looks like the size of a biscuit. Uh, so we're going to take the mixture that we've mixed up here and we're going to pour it in here. And we're going to throw it in the oven and see how it does it. So we're going to try to balance this out. This is always my favorite part, trying to get it even. So I always start light. And then go back, you know how that is. He said it should fill up six or get close. And I was just a little bit short on my cottage cheese for some reason or another, so I had to, they might not be as good as they should be, but I really want to mess with these and try to get them into a biscuit shape or a bun shape, a little mini slider bun or something like that, because I have, been tinkering with another recipe that's coming soon and it is liver mush so stay tuned for that all right that's about as good as I can get them even so the ovens already preheated at uh, 350 and we're gonna put them in there for 25 minutes and halfway through we're gonna just shift them around and let them cook and then we'll take them out about five minutes to go and flip or after 25 minutes and flip them over just to kind of get rid of some of that moisture. Uh, so let's get them in the oven. So here we have our sliders, buns or whatever you want to call it. I noticed one thing immediately, the edges of it didn't brown up too bad and cr uh, the other one's cracked on the flatbread on around the edges. That did not crack. So I like the looks of that. And let's try them out on a sandwich. So what I did was made buns out of that. And you can see on one, I've got some keto liver mush. And on the other, I got a piece of sausage. That'll be going to lunch with me. And yum, yum, eat them up. Let's go for a sausage biscuit, how about it? Hmm. Man, I'll tell you, the thing about the, the thing about the cottage cheese bread, bread it's what you season it with if you put a little garlic and salt and pepper in there or whatever you come up with don't put more than about a half a teaspoon but whatever you throw in that mixture that's what makes all the difference but that is so good that's like a uh, a mcmuffin or something they don't taste like eggs but it's just uh it's really good and that sausage is awesome too 
Hey, just another take on the old cottage cheese. Until next time, eat you some cottage cheese bread and <laughs> may the Lord bless you.